20th season. Jeffrey Anderson will throw the ball in the air to get this one started between John Mooney and Garrison Brooks and Brooks won the tip for the Tar Heels and they're very quickly on the board. Best basketball of the season the last four games with Black, Brooks and Baycott. Brooks has been bothered by an injured eye corneal abrasion. Next game and that's a well that's a veteran coach rolling the dice a little bit with his guys, making them understand, we're gonna flush this one out of our system. That game on Monday night is huge. Including that season opener in Chapel Hill. Leaky Black, that's a three. And Armando Baycott pulls it down for the heels. Steve Fluger starting on Cole Anthony because he's bigger, more experienced. But Cole Anthony is lethal, Sean, in transition. With Leaky Black coming out to guard him, Nice cut to the basket, and a hoop for Prentice Hunt, sophomore point guard out of Upper Marlboro, Maryland. 102 is the only losing season for North Carolina since 61-62, when they went 8-9 in Dean Smith's first season as head coach at Chapel Hill. Nifty move by John Mooney. Biggest nightmare, North Carolina going to work at the offensive glass again against his team, and it ends up with a bucket from Garrison Brooks. Notre Dame 0 for 3 from beyond the arc, down by 3 with under 14 to go in the first half. And now they've connected. Not a pass first point guard. Good job by Notre Dame early in the game to keep Cole Anthony on the side when he has it on the offensive end. They're icing him, they're downing him, not letting Cole Anthony turn the corner and get to the paint. Six points for Brooks coming off an excellent game against Virginia on Saturday he had a game high 20 there's a three for TJ Gibbs and they miss his outside shooting he's really the only consistent three-point shot maker other than Anthony and Juwan Durham doing some excellent work on the game is so hard man as a player as a coach if you miss open shots and North Carolina's probably missed more open shots than anyone in the ACC the game is really hard but I think Mike Bray feels a lot better now about guys like Goodwin and Lashesky and Hub with the way those sophomores have played this year. This amount of winning with difficult seasons leaning on one another. Beautiful execution by Notre Dame. Mooney to finish off the perfect feed from Rex Fluger. Lose the joy in your heart. I know he and Muffet have had some really close conversations about not letting that happen because as a coach, man, you take it so personal. <laughs> talked about feeling like they weren't doing enough to help their team win when they really needed to do more to help their teams win. Five game losing streaks this season. They're trying to end this five game losing streak. Rex Fluger strong to the bucket. Early last season it cost him most of the year. He's a grad student now working on his MBA. Good job by Notre Dame to lift their offense and just take away the help on the last possession. Mooney down low, too strong for Justin Pierce. And North Carolina still wasn't there to put Mooney in a strong enough crowd. Eight points for Mooney. Brandon Robinson gets the friendly bounce. Right now, it's not even a, a, a full minute that he's had it. And all the things that you would do as a player when you don't have the ball, man, it's so important. And this is the largest lead of the game for either team. Notre Dame by nine, Robinson. That tells you the importance of what do you do without the basketball as a player. Because that's a, that's a great stat right there for us to keep following. Look to be in really good shape out of the ACC. And we'll break out my ACC version of the Jet after a while. I'm going to let Allison Williams be the flight attendant and throw teams off if she wants to. Has been the uh, head coach at Capital University, a D3 school, for, uh, since the mid-90s. And has won more than 400 games there. Brooks. Carolina, each of these teams has had some frustrating losses at the buzzer, particularly North Carolina. Mooney tips it in. Starting the second half with Leaky Black, Armando Baycott, Garrison Brooks, and Christian Keeling. Here's Baycott. Well done, knowing that Durham is a shot blocker. Anthony had a beautiful blend of shooting and passing. The floor was opened up. He was able to play in space. And this kid is just a... a just a cold-blooded competitor. To me, that's the play. To come back in after taking a shot like he did and get right back in the fight tells me a lot about Cole Anthony and his future. 
Garrison Brooks banks at home. Made and he gave an example of when he got hurt before he ran off the court when he was bleeding all over the place. Brooks another bucket. He said to his teammates, I'll be right back. They can certainly get to Atlanta, if not more. Old Anthony extends this North Carolina run. Six straight empty trips on the offensive end for the Irish. T.O.'s. Vicky Black blocked the three-point try by Hub with the shot clock running down. Hub had to launch one. Anthony over Fluger. North Carolina pulling away. And to play on a crowded floor and the numbers that he continues to put up, he can make hard guarded shots so well. Notre Dame needed that one. They get it from Dame Goodwin. They haven't done anything. They've lacked that fight and that energy, so I'm putting them back in coach where I usually sit. <laughs> in a middle seat. Leaky Black. 42 seconds. Again, just tells you about the game. Garrison Brooks, another hoop. Off in their one-sided loss last week against Wake Forest. And so he was dealing with some blurred vision. Another much-needed bucket. North Carolina shooting 67% in this half. And Anthony improves on that percentage with a step-back three. Juwan Durham trying to work on the freshman Baycock. Count it. Brandon Robinson for three. Well, Anthony let them know right out of the gate. I mentioned that opening win against Notre Dame. Garrison Brooks, the bucket. Match the most any player has ever taken for North Carolina under Roy Williams. And it was in Anthony's first game. Prentice Hub the layup. The field was loaded. And I believe in this North Carolina team. Then the injuries start to occur, and then you see them being exposed. Lack of three point shooting. In a crowd, acrobatic bucket, and a chance for a three-point play. Only trying to keep Notre Dame in this game. He is a spinner in the lane. You have to know that with your scouting report. Prentice Hub, that's a two. He was on the line. A little bit short with that line drive shot. Mooney, his ninth rebound. He's one away from a double-double. There's a three for T.J. Gibbs. Starting to mentally build up in their minds. In the last 10 games, they've had five losses by three points or less. There's Hub, the bucket. It's a 10-2 run. Tying the North Carolina mark under Roy Williams for the most makes without a miss. Gibbs gets one to spin around and go in. Down the defender. Leaky Black dumps it off. Christian Keeling, a baseline jumper. Big shot for North Carolina. Luger got a hand on it. Wound up with Brandon Robinson. Amazing career turnaround average. Just more than two points per game prior to this year. 13 a game this year. Another one that spins around and in for T.J. Gibbs. They defended it well, forcing a tough shot. Black has it taken away. Trying to get it to Robinson. And Rex Fluger intercepted. Lashevsky's wide open. Three! By North Carolina, 7 out of 18 from the three-point line. They've shot the ball well for them tonight. Cole Anthony, a deep three. Tar Heels back by five with 1.32 to go. Prentice Hub, wild shot. Mooney got it back and got fouled, oh, and it goes wow. down. Hanging in the balance here. Gibbs. Top floater made it. Two-point game. Cole Anthony on the side and opened up floor. He jacks up a three. Way off. Battle for it. Leaky Black. Mooney trying to go to work. Mooney with the left. Tough shot. Fluger a huge rebound. Lashevsky for the lead. Got it! With 1.8 to go! Lashevsky shooting 29% from three in conference play. Does a good job, though, of getting to the ball side of the play. Black plays it in Lashevsky guarding. He wants to throw it a distance down the court. One. Had to get it to Robinson for the win from half court. No! Another excruciating loss in a season of agony for Roy Williams and these Tar Heels.